All right, so we've got our project um, ready to color. We've applied our IOD paintable decor transfers and we then coated it with a matte sealer top coat. We actually use general finishes flat out flat, but you can use different ones. Talk to your stockist and see what they recommend for the paint lines that they carry. Um, and now this is all completely dry. We're gonna go with a 220 um, grit soft sponge, so it's very fine. And we're just going to lightly but thoroughly buff the surface of this. And what that's going to do is very fine. It's very fine. Very and fine. this one has been overused. But um, this is going to give us some additional surface tooth so that when we go in with our mediums and color it in, um, if it's something that's prone to beading at all, like watercolor mediums and stuff like that, that mm -hmm. counteracts it. So it's just simply really buffing it thoroughly. You really should check out a blog post that we have just specifically geared toward the paintable decor transfers, you can actually find information under product paintable decor transfer right on our website from the main menu. We will link below this video as well. Yeah. There's also a blog post that has comprehensive examples and different uh, visuals that you can see where other people have done paintables and the things that they've used with them. Totally. Today, the mediums that we're going to use are one of our favorites um, is the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. Big and brush, the big brush. The big brush. We bought these through Dick Blick Art Supply. You can buy them online. What we like about these is the way they're India ink they're translucent, they have a translucent, nice soft wash, kind of a watercolory look to them. They're easily blended and they're just really nice and transparent, which allows our decor paintable transfer to shine. And 
they have a high light fast rating. Oh, yes. So when you're doing a, like a large a piece, piece of furniture that you want to be really light fast, that that's really a, that's important. A good... We are just gonna kind of get in there. We're not gonna worry about being perfect or getting it completely solid because you can go back in and blend with your damp water brush. And I say damp, and I'm being it's kind specific. Of like, I think that sometimes they use the term laying in color. Yeah. Just kind of. Yeah, you're just going in and getting, it in. getting it in there. And then you're gonna go in and before it's dry, you have a little open time with a damp water brush, you're gonna go in and this just moves so silkily. Is that a word, silkily? <laughs> and again, we're not looking to get it to look like it's exactly in the lines. We're getting a painterly look with a little more movement and stroke happening in there. And what's cool about that is also it gives you a margin for freedom and not, you know, we don't want you to worry. This should be fun. It should be enjoyable. Every time you call my name, I know that you'll be right there. Say you will. and let you guys kind of see where that is in reference to the whole piece and then also take this opportunity to talk a little bit about planning out your color exactly so we're using lots of bold colors in this case and mm -hmm. some of them are going to be like deep reds and deep blues hot so pinks mapping it out loosely ahead of time is going to help you avoid having something that's out of balance for mm -hmm. example I do want to have, we want to have some deep reds in mm -hmm. here. So for example, your first thought is, oh, let's do the roses red. And you could do that. But if you do that, you might want to thread a little bit of red throughout other places to too, balance it. To balance it. Or maybe on the roses, you would have the tips be red and it's blended so that those aren't as dominant. So just thinking about that ahead of time, because mm -hmm. what you don't want to have necessarily, unless it's a artistic interpretation. So I guess like an asymmetry. Yeah, thing. there's so much there's so much latitude there. But if you didn't want to have like if we made this solid red and there was no other red in the whole thing, wow, that would stand out. When you so look just, at it, your yeah, eye exactly. will go right there. Right. So just thinking about that, like do you want to have it kind of the color balance? Color throughout? planning. Just yeah. take a take a moment to, to color plan. Now that's if you're doing multiple colors on your piece. Right. However, we were just talking about how beautiful it would be to do like sepia tones. Mm -hmm. And in which case that is not as much of a factor. Right. So exactly. Yeah.
you I was eight years old Didn't know you play a role in my future down the road And now at 24 I pursue you even though You've been bought, you've been sold, treated well and treated pro So I promise to be yours and protect you under oath And everywhere we go I'll be holding to you close Letting the world know we found a new home Together with our soul we reach in the whole globe And no one ever thought that it would be like this Bring out of me a side I didn't know exist. I'm here to testify that I'm truly blessed. I thank the most high for this fortunate accident. See what's happening. Hip hop is back again. Customary tractor in with Aaron Aubrey backing in. We done imagining. Here's the years of practicing. It happened in a flash. Now this accident is cashing in.
Maximalist. Maximalist. Wait, what's the name of this? Wait, I can't. Tarva, six we're not dresser. We're not it's doing. It's not in our we're intro. We're starting with. Yes, we're starting with two different mediums. Hold on. I think I should talk sometimes because otherwise totally. it's always you instructing and always you talking, and it's I'm like totally I don't okay know with that. anything. I'm totally fine with that. And don't put that in the video, me saying that. 